Hello friends, I hope you are all doing well. Today, I want to share a real life story. My aunt had severe muscular pain, she could not move her body when I visited her. I decided to take her to the best orthopedic doctor, but she was adamant that she wanted to see her family doctor, who was just a general physician. She believes her family doctor has excellent healing power. Well, I took her to the family doctor, a small clinic, and patients were line up to see the doctor. The doctor's assistant collects prescriptions and hand over medicine to the patient accordingly. The assistant had different jars of tablets, capsules, and a few bottles of syrups in red and green colors. The assistant gave red or green color syrup to every patient along with other medicines. After the doctor's diagnosis, my aunt got the medicine along with the green color syrup. The next day I was surprised to see my aunt. She felt better and was walking without a stick. I was so curious. How simple medicine can heal so fast? Is this a miracle? Or belief in the doctor's treatment and medicine? Friends, this is called the placebo. Hello, and welcome to our YouTube learning channel. My name is Cameron. Today, I am going to share what I learned about the placebo and placebo effects. According to Dr. Bruce Lipton, if you change your thought, your mind can change biology. For example, when you have a positive thought that something can heal you, even if it's a sugar pill, but you believe it's real medicine, then you can heal yourself. A placebo effect is a positive outcome in our health because of our positive thought and belief. What is a placebo? The mind can have a huge impact on the body, and, in some conditions, can even treat illness. However, the placebo effect is a phenomenon that describes how the mind can occasionally deceive you into thinking that a phony treatment has actual therapeutic effects. Placebo has been used for more than centuries in different forms, like phony drugs, injections, surgery, and other methods, to cure illness. According to Dr. Lipton, we have more than 50 trillion cells in our body, and each cell has 1.4 volts. 50 trillion cells times 1.4 equals 700 trillion volts of electricity in our body. Our mind is the government for the 50 trillion cells. If we change our thought and mind, we can change biology. The mind is the primary cause of illness. Wow, let me share my experiences. I have noticed some quacks. Local people call them Baba. In South Asian countries, according to them, Babas have phenomenal spiritual power to heal any kind of illness. Local people believe in their medicine and spiritual power. Every Baba has different healing techniques. Some Baba recites and blows air to an ill person. Some of them gave holy water. And some of them gave herbal medicine. I interviewed a few patients, according to them. They don't visit the doctor if they are sick. Because they believe, Baba has more healing power. Wow, it isn't interesting. How strong a belief system do they have? Since we learned positive thought makes positive results in our body and primary cause of illness is negative thinking or overthinking. We feel positive energy when we connect with positive people regardless of color, faith, gender, or religious background. It supports us to improve ourselves and learn new prospects. We collect good vibes when optimistic people around us. Positive mindset. Connect to positive energy. When we have positive energy, our body acts exactly as we perceive. Avoid overthinking and stay away from negative thoughts and perceptions. Our parents, family, and community make our perceptions about others' religions, race, and communities, etc. Sometimes good and sometimes bad. And we start judging or perceiving people according to what we learn from our family or society. Nowadays, social media plays a vital role in changing our perceptions. Depending on the agenda they are working on. And what is the motive behind them? When COVID started, some people misused social media to propagate fake news to create fear in the public. Some people were paranoid, running grocery stores to stock foods and other products, and even some people were fighting to get toilet paper. One of our family members got COVID just because of overthinking and being overconscious about COVID. He believed that he would get COVID as soon as he step outside the house. However, he followed all guidelines and precautions. This is called the nocebo effect. I always remember, overthinking leads to negative thoughts and adverse results. Positive thought leads to a positive outcome. I hope you enjoy this video. 
We welcome any recommendations, suggestions, and share the knowledge for improvement. Head over to our exhilarating, fascinating, and knowledgeable learning channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our learning videos. Thanks.